So today, if you have a yoga strap, have that handy. If you don't, it's not a problem. You can grab a belt, a scarf, um, a long sleeve t-shirt, and if you don't have anything, that's okay too. So we'll start today by finding a comfortable seat on the mat, whatever that looks like to you. However you choose to sit, be sure to pull the flesh away from the sit bones so that you're starting with a stable base. Draw that navel in towards the spine. Allow the crown of the head to reach towards the sky. Bring the shoulder blades together and down your back. Place the hands on the thighs, palms up. Allow the chin to be parallel to the ground or tilted slightly forward. Close your eyes. Start to become aware of the breath. And so long as you're not stuffy, allow that breath to flow in through the nose and out through the nose. Allow the breath to come into balance by making the inhale the same length as the exhale. With each inhale, create length in the spine. And as you exhale, keep the length in the spine, but just begin to soften the body. Release any tension that you're holding on to. As you sit and breathe, I'm going to read um, from a new book from Young Pueblo called Clarity and Connection. Do what is right for you. Do it over and over again. Lean into the light. Keep going even when it is hard, especially when it is hard. Do not let doubt stop you. Trust the process when your mood is low. Let growth be your mission. Let healing be your reward. Let freedom be your goal. So just think about those words. The part of this that I really liked was trust the process when your mood is low. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen in my stories um, over the winter how I was just kept forcing myself to walk on my treadmill even though I didn't want to. I didn't even really want to get out of bed, to be honest. You know, it was a tough winter. But I was like, well, I know that if I walk on the treadmill, it'll raise my serotonin levels. So scientifically, it has to make me feel better. And it did. I still didn't want to do it. But I knew if I kept doing it, eventually, I would start enjoying it. And that's exactly what has happened. So I tell my students sometimes to go ahead, make a list of things that you can do to make yourself feel better in those lower times. And a lot of these things are scientifically proven to boost your mood. So if you have a list, then all you have to remember in those times is the list. And then you can look at it. And sometimes we have to force ourselves, trust the process, and do these things even though we don't want to. But they can have a great effect. Other things that you can do, meditation, yoga, being in nature, reading, just giving yourself self-care to help you through those tough times. Bring your hands together at the heart in Anjali Mudra, prayer position. 
We'll breathe together three times, and on the third exhale, we'll share the sound of OM. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. And for the third time together, inhale. Oh. Bow your head. Place the hands on the thighs. Softly open your eyes, looking forward. So we're going to start today with the arms by our sides. As you inhale, they come up overhead. As you exhale, they come back down by your side. So we're just warming up the shoulders here, tuning in with the breath. The next time the arms are up overhead, allow the palms to come together to touch. As you exhale, bring the hands together at the heart in Anjali Mudra. Lay down on your back, and if you have a strap, you're going to have that nearby. And remember, if you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or a scarf, um, anything long. Draw the knees into the chest and just rock side to side, giving yourself a little back massage here. Keep the right knee hugged in and extend the left leg long on the mat. If you have a strap, you're going to place the strap around the ball of that right foot. And then as you inhale, Straighten the right leg as much as you can. You can see mine's not that straight. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Continue moving with your breath here. And if you don't have the strap, you'll just hold on to the leg and bend and straighten. Four more. When you finish, you can remove the strap. Extend the right leg long and then draw the left knee in. Place the strap around the ball of the left foot or if you don't have the strap, you'll just hold on to your leg. As you inhale, straighten the left leg as best you can. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Moving with your breath at your own pace. Inhale and exhale are equal. Four more. When you finish, you can just remove the strap, place it to the side, and then draw the right knee in to meet the left. As you inhale, the knees pull away from your chest as your arms straighten. 
And then as you exhale, pull the knees back in. Inhale, knees pull away from your chest. Exhale, draw the knees in. This is dynamic apanasana. Hug those knees in once more. And then you'll place the soles of the feet on the mat, knees bent. Rest your hands on your belly and just let those knees sway from side to side. Let the legs become still. Cross your right ankle over that left thigh. And then take your hands around the left thigh, draw the legs in. Breathe here. Lower the left foot to the mat, followed by the right foot. Make sure your foundation is set wisely and then cross your left ankle over that right thigh. Take the hands around the right thigh, draw those legs in. Lower your right foot, followed by the left foot. Hug the knees into the chest and then just start to rock head to tail. You can rock back and forth a couple of times, eventually bringing yourself up to a seated position and we're going to sit in Dandasana, staff pose. So the legs are extended out nice and long. Feet are flexed, so you're pulling the toes in towards the body yet the heels remain on the ground. Pull the flesh away from your sit bones. Place your hands by your sides, shoulder blades together and down your back. Bend the left knee, bringing the sole of the foot to the floor, and then let that left knee open up out to your left. Find your strap if you have one, and you'll bend the right knee, placing the strap around the ball of that foot. Press down through your sit bones. Inhale, grow tall. On the exhale, begin to hinge from the hips, folding forward. Relax the head and neck. Slowly bring yourself back up. Slide that right leg out to the right and then slide the left foot back to the inner thigh. So our torso faces center. Press down through your sit bones. Inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, twist to the right so you're now centered over that right leg. Root down through your sit bones. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. Start to bring yourself back up. If you're using the strap, remove it. Extend both legs nice and long, coming back to Dandasana, staff pose. Come back to that balanced breath if it's gotten away from you. Bend your right knee. Sole of the foot comes to the mat. And then let the sole of the right foot come to the inner thigh of the left leg. Right knee opens up out to the side. 
Take the strap, bend the left knee, place the strap around the ball of the foot. Root down through your sit bones, inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. Slowly bring yourself back up. You're going to slide that left leg out to the left, slide the right foot back to the upper inner thigh. Torso faces center. Root down through the sit bones. Inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, twist to the left. Root down once again. Inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. Slowly bring yourself back up. Remove the strap, extend both legs nice and long. Coming back to Dandasana, staff pose. Bend the left knee, sole of the foot comes to the ground. Take the left hand behind the left hip and wrap the right arm around the left knee. Press down through the sit bones, inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, begin to twist to the left. So you're twisting into that bent leg. To come out of your pose, root down through your sit bones. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, slowly bring yourself back to center. Extend the left leg long to meet the right, and then we'll bend the right knee. Sole of the foot comes to the floor. Right hand behind the right hip. Left arm wraps around that right knee. Press down through your sit bones. Inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, twist to your right. Press down through the sit bones. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, bring yourself back to center. Come back to Dandasana. Next, we're going to come to all fours, hands and knees. Oh, I saw my first cicada in my yard today. It's coming out of the ground, and I'm excited. All righty. So on all fours, fingers are spread nice and wide, pressing down through the fingers and the perimeter of the palms. Navel draws in. Tops of the feet flat on the mat. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, Shift your hips to your heels, your chest to your thighs, coming to extended child's pose. As you inhale, come up all fours. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale up, all fours. The next time you come to all fours, pause there. Step your right foot forward between your hands. As you inhale, arms sweep up, hips lower towards the mat. Breathe here. 
And on your exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward, hands on either side of the right foot. Shift the hips back, straightening that right leg, and fold forward. Shift the body forward once again, placing the sole of the right foot on the mat. Take your right hand to the inside of the right foot, and then heel toe your right foot over two times. Roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Bring the sole of the right foot back to the mat. Heel toe the foot back over. Place the right hand to the outside of the right foot and then step the right knee back to meet the left. Take a breath in and as you exhale, shift your hips to your heels, chest to your thighs, extended child's pose. Inhale up, all fours. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale up, all fours. One more time. Step the left foot forward between the hands. As you inhale, arms sweep up, hips lower towards the mat. Lower the hands, one on either side of that left foot. Shift the hips back, straightening the leg and fold forward. Shift that body forward once again, and then take your left hand to the inside of the left foot. Heel toe your way over two times, and then roll to the pinky toe side of the left foot. Bring the sole of the left foot back to the mat. Heel toe your way back over. Bring your left hand to the outside of the left foot. Step back, all fours. Take a breath in as you exhale. Hips to the heels, chest to the thighs. Inhale, arms or arms sweep up. Inhale, all fours. Exhale. Shift back. Inhale up. One more time. So now we're going to come up to standing. So however you get there is fine. Just bring yourself to stand on the mat. So when we stand in Tadasana Mountain Pose, our feet are parallel to each other, and they're just femur width apart. I've been sewing, and um, this is my ironing station when I'm sewing, so I'm finding like little pins and things, so that's nice. So, feet parallel, hips stacked on knees, knees stacked on ankles, pelvis is in neutral, Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Shoulder blades together and then down the back. As you inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, arms lower. Moving with your breath at your own pace here. The next time the arms are up overhead, palms come together to touch. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. So standing at the top of the mat, you're going to take a step back with your right foot. Not a huge step. And all of your toes are pointing straight ahead. 
As you inhale, arms sweep up. Keep the length in the spine as you hinge from the hips, folding forward. Fingertips to the ground, relax the head and neck. From here, step that right foot forward to meet the left. Place the hands on the hips. Press down through the feet to come back up to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. From here, take a step back with the left foot. I'd say it's about three foot lengths back. All toes point straight ahead. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hinge. So both legs are straight here. We don't want to lock the knee. Relax the head and neck. Step that left foot forward to meet the right. Hands come to the hips, press down through the feet to come up. Take a nice wide stance on the mat. Outer edges of the feet are parallel to the outer edges of the mat. As you inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hinge from your hips, folding forward. It's fine to bend the knees here. Place the hands on the hips. Press down through your feet to come up. Arms by your sides. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. Relax the head and neck. Place the hands on the hips. Press down through those feet to bring yourself up. One more time. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. So this time while we're here, take a breath in and as you exhale, begin to bend that left knee and shift the body over to the left to stretch the inner thigh of that right leg. Bring yourself back to center. This time, you're going to bend the right knee, shift the body over to the right, stretching the inner thigh of that left leg. Back to center. Hands on the hips, press down through the feet to come up. So we're going to come back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. And then we'll come to lay down on our bellies. Again, however you get there is fine. Just lay down on your belly. Cross the forearms in front of you and rest the forehead. Bend your knees and just let the legs sway from side to side. Let the legs become still, and then lower the legs down to the ground. Bring your arms by your sides, the palms face the sky. As you inhale, the head, chest, and arms simultaneously lift up off of the ground, and then as you exhale, lower. 
Inhale, head, chest, arms, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more on your own. When you finish, lower down, roll over onto your back and hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Become still and lower the soles of the feet to the mat. Bring your arms by your sides, the palms face the floor. Draw the pelvic floor up and the navel in. Squeeze both glutes, lift the hips. And as you exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, hips lift. Exhale, hips lower. The next time you lower your hips, pause. Cross your right ankle over the left thigh and bring your arms out like a T, your palms face the sky. Take a breath in. As you exhale, tip the legs over to the left as you roll to the pinky toe side of your left foot. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, tip the legs over to the right, rolling to the big toe side of that left foot. Inhale, back up. Continue moving with your breath, rolling from one side of your foot to the other. The next time the sole of the left foot is flat on your mat, pause there, lower your right foot. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Take a breath in and as you exhale, tip the legs over to the right, rolling to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Inhale, back up. Exhale. Tip the legs to the left, rolling to the big toe side of the right foot. Inhale up. Continue moving with the breath, rolling from one side of the foot to the other. The next time the sole of that right foot is flat on the mat, pause there. Lower your left foot, draw the knees in. Take a breath in and as you exhale, draw the knees in. Inhale, knees pull away. Exhale, knees pull in. 
inhale, they draw away. Hug those knees in once more. Place the soles of the feet on the mat. Let your hands rest on your belly. And then let those legs just sway from side to side. Let those legs become still and we're going to begin to transition into Shavasana. So you'll extend your legs out nice and long on your mat. Of course, grab anything that you need to be comfortable as well. Socks, sweater, whatever it might be. And then bring your arms by your sides. The palms face the sky and allow the palms to be a few inches away from the body. Let your feet just flop open. Relax your jaw by creating a space between the top and bottom rows of teeth. And let the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. Let your eyes rest in their sockets. Resist the urge to make subtle movements. Allow your natural breath to take over. Rest in Shavasana.
slowly start to deepen the breath. Becoming aware of the room once again and becoming aware of your body. You can start to make subtle movements that feel good, like wiggling the fingers and toes, rotating through the wrists and the ankles and turning the head gently from side to side. Stretch through the arms and the legs like you're just waking up. Nice full body stretch. And then roll to the right side in the fetal position and we'll stay there for a few breaths. Keeping the eyes closed if you'd like. Use your arms to bring yourself back up to a comfortable seated position and then bring your hands together at your heart in Anjali Mudra. Do what is right for you. Do it over and over again. Lean into the light. Keep going, even when it is hard, especially when it's hard. Do not let doubt stop you. Trust the process when your mood is low. Let growth be your mission. Let healing be your reward. Let freedom be your goal. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be free from suffering. May you be at ease and may you be well. Namaste.